Alrighty, what's going on guys and welcome back to another unboxing. I'm going to do this. We have a few more here. I'm going to move them to the side. This is the last of oh, the last of the Blackpool haul. This will be part three and then that's it. We're finished. Yeah, we did. We did spend... A lot of time in the game shops <laughs> so yeah i decided it'd be easier just to split this up make my life easier make it a bit more um just easier to deal with and uh yeah let's crack on so we've got a bit of everything here uh we've got some ps2 we've got some xbox we've got some xbox 360 so let's say no more say no less oh say less and crack on so I have just eaten two pepperoni pizzas, by the way, so if I'm a bit, you know, a bit uh, empty, I apologise, it's because I'm currently digesting. So first off, we have a game called Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. Two pound. Um, I believe this is one of those games that works on the Series X, I believe. If you can reach it, you can drive it, fly it, steal it, shoot or destroy it. Anything goes in this playground of destructions. You are a lethal mercenary. Your mission is to topple a sinister military regime. Yeah, so I, I believe I can play this on the, the Xbox Series X. So, oh, that's quite cool. So, yeah, we might give that a go on the channel. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Next up, we have Dead Rising Limited Edition Still Book. I love Still Books. Still Books have become some of my favourite things to collect. It is a bit kind of ruined. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or not. But £4 for the Steel Book, you can't really grumble at that, can you? Complete in Steel Box. I'm not going to bother reading that. I love Dead Rising. If you guys haven't played Dead Rising, go and play it. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to play through this on the channel. Probably not. But I have played through this game a few times. I loved it. Um, it gets a bit weird towards the end uh, when they have like the, the cult guys come in and the soldier types come in to clear up, which always goes wrong for some reason. But yeah, Dead Rising is a great game. It's definitely worth playing if you can find it. Like I say, £4 is really worth it for that kind of game. Now, a game I have never played before, but everyone who talks about the 360 talks about this game. Oh, So, I kind of feel like I needed to get it to kind of see what all the fuss is about. But it is a game called... Perfect Dark Zero. Now, I only bought this because of this case. This case is really cool. Steel book. Perfect Dark Zero. Looks quite cyberpunky. Looks quite cool. 2020, the future is dark. Ruthless corporations compete in a savage, unseen war for global domination. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know anything about this. But we've got no manual, but we've got collector's edition DVD and then the game. So I need to stop lifting these up. Oh, sorry. My back is killing me. It hurts so much. I've been doing this for the last hour. Forgive me. Oh, it's so much pain. See what I do for you. But yeah, um, if it's any good, let me know. Because like I said, everyone that talks about 360 games seem to love Perfect Dark Zero. And I have never ever played it, so... It's a cool case though. Right. We'll do them two last because they're quite special. 007 James Bond Bloodstone. I feel like 007 games I seem to have just all of a sudden acquired quite a few in one day because we got the PS2 one, the PS3 one, and now the Xbox 360 one. Um I watched some videos on this. Oh, I didn't watch some videos on this. I watched some videos of collections. And obviously 007 comes up because it's a number, so it's always the one that's top of the list. And everybody says that Bloodstone is a pretty good game. So, we will see. I've never played it. Like I said before, I've never played a 007 game before in my life. So, 
we shall see. Um, I do have some kind of high hopes for this, just because everybody keeps raving on about it, but I could not tell you if it's any good or any bad. Right, I've got two special games here. Well, one of them is very special to me, and the other one I bought because it had a super cool case. And that one is Deus Ex Human Revolution. I bought it because of this case. This is a really cool case. I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice. But it's super cool. So it opens up. It's not a steel book. We've got design work. So it tells you about all of the characters and the maps and stuff. Facebook's going off. And then we have this. It's a cardboard book. Which opens up like that. You have all your manuals and all your flashy stuff. And then you have your discs. It's really cool. It's super cool. And I only bought that for the case. Because I do own this game already. I think. I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I think I have. But. It's been a while. So. I don't know. Maybe when we finish some of the longer playthroughs on the second channel. Deus Ex Human Revolution. Or maybe it's Mankind Divided. We have. Never mind, it's a different game. Wow. So I've never played this one. Human Revolution. That definitely says Mankind Divided, right? Ooh. Now I'm interested. I thought I already owned this. I do not. Well, now I'm going to play it. The truth will change you. Spelt the triangle. Wow. So yeah, maybe we'll play through that on the second channel. Maybe that'll be one off camera. I'm not sure yet. But Deus Ex as a game is not really one that I know much about, so I can't really comment on if it's good or if it's bad. So, yeah. And finally, you'll see this, and you'll know why I bought this. If you're a fan of me, if you're well, not a fan of me, if you're a fan of the channel, you've been watching what we've been doing. If you listen to me talk for hours on end, you guys know that Gears of War is my favourite franchise of all time. I love Gears of War. Gears of War and Halo are the two best gaming franchises you will ever play. And I will hear no different. I will take no arguments. That is a fact. Your FIFAs can fuck off. Because Gears of War is such a good game and it's so underrated. Nobody talks about it. And it's a shame. But this is the limited collector's edition. No gun code. So, we have this, which is the steel case. Now, if you'll give me one second. So, a bit all over the place. I actually already own the Steelbook. Um, it's the exact same. Um, so, yeah, I bought it solely for this and the art book because I, I love when stuff like this comes out. Beneath the surface. Uh, you know, even it even comes with the postcard from the game. Not the postcard, the picture. But yeah, I, I love the behind the scenes stuff. I've actually already read it. Um, anytime games come with an art book, I read it. I love that kind of stuff. And I don't mind spending a bit more money on stuff like this. I don't mind that. And yeah, obviously it comes with the discs and the bonus discs. If you haven't played this franchise, go and do yourself a favour and play it. You need to. So we've I've I've played through every single one now, minus tactics. And I can't. I want to play through it again. So I might play through it on the second channel, we'll see. I just love Gears of War, it's so good. So good. And finally, we've got six PlayStation 2 games. So I wanted to buff up my PlayStation 2 collection now. Because I own a PS2. If you have not watched the openings from before, I'll leave the playlist, I don't know, up here somewhere. Or link it down below if I remember. Um... If you haven't already seen that, if you're new around here, I will link them somewhere if you're interested in that. 
But the first game is Conflict Desert Storm. And Conflict Desert Storm 2. Also, <laughs> a game we got the bonus disc for earlier on, which was quite amusing. Um. <laughs> but the first one, I've never played. The second one, I've played quite a bit, and I really liked it. So, a pound each, you can't really complain. Um, it's like a game where you are in a four-man squad, set in... I can't remember which, I know it was a desert. It's set in some country with sand in a desert. And you shoot bad guys in a desert. Um, and the story kind of goes a little something like, uh, like that. And uh, yeah, it's a good time. So I'll be honest with most PlayStation games, apart from one I'm about to talk about, I couldn't tell you a single thing. It's been 10 plus years since I've touched a PlayStation 2. So I couldn't tell you if these games play well nowadays or not. But I remember as a kid loving them. They were a pound. Why not? This game, however... It's not complete. I can tell you a little bit about. So Killzone. So this was probably my favourite PlayStation 2 game. Killzone is such an underutilised franchise for PlayStation. It's PlayStation only, and they have not released a Killzone game for a long time, and they are really letting me down. I want to play through the entire Killzone franchise on the channel. I've actually not long finished Killzone Mercenaries on the PS Vita. That game was great. Um, if I could record Vita stuff, I would for you guys, because that was great. Um, I feel like that would be a lot better on, like, some kind of PC emulator or something. Why are we tilting? What is going on? But yeah, I feel like that would have been a lot better on, uh, on, like, a PC or a PlayStation. Even a PlayStation 3, I think it could have run. But yeah. Killzone is a really, really good franchise, and it's not ever spoken about because they just don't release any more games. But this was great. They had like a bot zone mode in multiplayer, and we used to play on one map that was kind of one side spawned on the beach, and the other side was like in this small destroyed castle thing, and we used to just sit there for hours killing bots. <coughs> Gonna sneeze. <coughs> Gonna sneeze. Uh, because we'd already beaten the campaign about 15 times. So that is how we got our fun. And yes, I do remember that. And that is about all I remember. And finally, we have da -da -da, three Medal of Honor games. So Medal of Honor is kind of an underrated franchise, right? Because they haven't made a game for years. And they were always like, yeah, but they're just not. They're just like cheaper CODs back in the day. Uh, my voice is going in. Um, I've only ever played Rising Sun. So these two I cannot comment about because I don't know much about them. Uh, I think Frontline I may have played, but I can't remember. £6.50 for them. So yeah, we got Rising Sun. Which is one that I, I remember the name and I remember the cover. But, complete in box, by the way. Complete in box. But I couldn't tell you much about how that is or how it plays. Vanguard, which is not the Call of Duty. But this one might be a newer one to that one because it's worth a bit more. Is my guess. And, da -da -da, Frontline. Not complete in box, unfortunately. Oh, that sneeze has ruined it. But yeah, um, I only remember playing Rising Sun. So that is that. And that is the final haul that we are going to do. Until after Christmas when I spend all my money. So yeah, there you guys go. If there's anything there... That you'd like to see me play. Like I say. 
I wouldn't be opposed to either of them. Uh, leave a like down below. Subscribe, all of that good stuff. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything here. Do you remember Killzone? Does anybody here remember Killzone? Please let me know, because that would be great. I love Killzone. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to end that there. I'm going to let you guys go. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks to all my social medias in the description box down below. Um, leave any comments, any questions, any suggestions, any of that stuff. It has been your boy. I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one.